There are so many impossible situations in this world. And the late father of my two children, Arthur Hessen not the third, you said, Oh, just ignore her. Just ignore her. And no, you can't ignore hell. You can't ignore an insane abuser. So, whatever, you know, I mean, just sick of, you know, uh, if you're, it, it's not nice to be, they call it chosen ones, but it is in the Bible, if you're a chosen one, you don't choose Jesus. Ephesians, you're formed, God knows you before you're formed in your mom, mommy's belly. But, all the demons bow down to Jesus. So check that verse out. That's fine. Oh, that verse. Okay. Every demon will bow down. Are they going to be cast in the lake of fire forever? Or do they vaporize? The pinpoint of the end of time. Or do they vaporize? Man is but a vapor. What is man's life but a vapor? But, yeah. Um. If I were God. But then I guess apparently God always lived in me. According to the Bible. You don't choose Jesus. Um. Choose life. Certainly, um, you know, um, Wham, what was his name? They made the big 80s t-shirt to choose life, Wham. Okay, um, died, um, he didn't, obviously he didn't know Jesus, but, you know, the big t-shirt, choose life, well, that would be, you know, Just being good. Just people know what good is. People, but you you don't get rewarded for it at all. And I have like a really bad attitude. And now when I ate out with a homeless girl again, in the same pizza shop, um, <clears throat> there was a girl, a neighbor who just totally ignored me, and I. And just, that just bothers me. So, no, I will never talk to her again. Like, she's just rude. Like, you know, it, it's really weird that people get, like, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like, I don't understand that at all. I'm just sitting there waiting for my friend to come out of the bathroom. And somebody, there's, like, pizza cheese. I don't know how they got that on the ground. But it was, like, little pieces of french fries like on the ground I didn't have anything better to do I just picked up some napkins and just cleaned it it was like but I don't get anything for it and I totally recognize that you know you don't get anything for doing good um I always thought you know if I get a branch out of the way on the sidewalk maybe someone would Say, wow, that's really cool. You want a 10 or a 20? <laughs> like, this is because I'm always poor. And, like, and I saw some a girl do that. A lady do that. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. This is something I would do. You know, you're, a big branch is in the way. Well, a mom with a stroller or, you know, somebody with a... Um, Disabled with a walker or crutches, like, you know, like, it's in the way. It should be taken down. Um, I mean, yeah, this world's rotten, that, yeah, you know, uh, good things are ignored, like, all, you know, well, they're just not rewarded. It shouldn't be that hard in life, but it is. Because I'm sick of saying you live in hell, but you do. 
because, again, a girl was talking about karma. And I'm like, there is no karma for all my insane abusers. There is no karma. Seriously. I don't, I don't see any karma. I know there's no karma for what they did to me. I mean, did, did they ever want to die? No. Not one. But they made me want to die. Well, where's the karma in that? Where's the karma? I mean... Every single job lister I knew of in the first one, you know, the one, the only one that got caught was Jim Keebler, and they just let him go. Oh, he, the family was around, so, well, you want counseling, or should be arrested? And it was really weird, there was another girl I'm talking to on the phone on a suicidal hotline, you know, crying out child molestation. You know, like, what's wrong with that? She's like, the same thing happened to her. The uncle jobless for her. Do you want... <laughs> do you want... Uh, that's to rest on what counseling? It's like, oh my god. Like, counseling would help that? Like... there That's just too far gone. And some... You know, everyone... That's abusive in denial is far gone. So you might not, you know, I, child molestation is the worst thing, but how annoying, you know, if somebody steals something of yours and they do it every day, you know, you just have to like, and the worst thing that people steal is your energy. They emotionally drain you with their nervous, chaotic energy. So I'm saying the same names. Uh... Just get with my dead husband. Just horrible energy. Yeah, one a horrible thing he did is we never did anything. I I was so bored with him in the car. Nameless and like we could have just played tic tac toe and that would have been something. Oh, we did play hangman and tic tac toe when we were homeless, walking around Lancaster. Yeah, we did. We found out though. Yeah, smoking a cigar. And he was rotten, but he was a lot more rotten at the Four Seasons. Oh my god. Yeah, we, we did play the exact same when I went. Okay. But not in the hotel. We only played Rummy once. He was a nut. Like, you know, like, you know. It's good to, like, do something together. Nothing. He watches porn and masturbate all day long. And he expected me to hug him at night. Like, why? Uh, and then he was contacted. And something really bad, you know, might have happened to me. And, um, just disgusting. Totally disgusting. I, I, I mean, there was no, there was never a relationship. All my relationships, you, you know, like, oh, I had a bad relationship. No, it's a death relationship. It's not even a re relationship, and you can't even count it as a boyfriend. So I never had a boyfriend except Mark Edward Pesanowski. I was sweet 16 for some reason. 38 years ago. Oh, my God. Insane. But, yeah, you know, everyone after that, that's a death relationship. Death relationship. Death relationship. You're supposed to be the person's best friend. You got their back. Respect them. And if you're not going to respect the person, you know, just forget it. Like, hey, my, my dead husband should told me watch disgusting child porn before I found it. On his phone and pretend I'm not in this house. What a shock. What a shock. Like, that, that's insane. Oh my god. Insane narcissists, like, they grab your phone. Oh, you're not allowed to grab their phone and see child porn on there. And like, oh, well, you should be in jail for that piece of shit. I mean, you're a sick psycho. It's disgusting. 
And pretend a narcissist always had a deep, dark secret. I never told you. Yeah, you watch child porn, you sicko. Disgusting. What a yeah, yeah, oh my god. Gross. Sticks objects up his ass. Um, you know, my ex did that too. <laughs> this is really gross. God, and a girl, I hear this girl talk about this shit. Stay hey, away. <sighs> really, really, really messed up, people. Um, <laughs> there is a, people are just so messed up. You don't need sex. What do you need sex for? And then there's semen rementation. Um, I think four of them. I mean, YouTubers said that. And, uh, yeah. Like, you don't need sex. Thing. But, like, a, a guy needs it more than a girl. And, uh, actually... Why not say his name, Eric Joseph Charles? Um, him and his girlfriend, you know, that's the way it should be. They had, like, sex three times a day. Whether that was... She was a weirdo, a little bit. Weird things, but... That's... The way it should be. Like, you know, well, I mean, you don't have it... Once a day. Like... Afternoon delight. <laughs> Afternoon delight. I mean, whatever. It's supposed to be a good thing. It's supposed to be between a man and a woman. And so what? And then you got sickers out here who you might be going out with a, a child molester. You don't know it. Well, my, my husband could have sex anyway, but I didn't know he was a child molester on top of all that shit. So, yeah. The wife is the last to know. Like, if the guy's gay, I didn't know my ex-boyfriend was gay. Like, you could have told me. That would have been nice. Yeah, you could tell, you know, but then, you know. I don't know what that was, huh? But you could have told me. Like, whatever. It, it shouldn't be... People should be honest. Nobody is. That's just the way it is. I, uh, people are just great liars. Great liars. They're great actors. And whatever, you know. It's really sad, you know. I, I'm just hoping that, you know, James 4.14 is true. What is man's life but a vapor? So my boys get vaporized. If I think the one, my oldest might be a Jesus person. I don't know how am I supposed to know? I'm not allowed around my kids for how long? Seventeen years. But I mean, recently I was. I saw him for the first time when, at Christmas, two thousand twenty. I gave him five hundred dollars out of my six hundred, or else I wouldn't have been able to stay in the hotel. Because, uh, you know, living with pretending all narcissists and how insane he was. I'm not even allowed, you know, I wasn't allowed to do anything. Especially, uh, you know, love myself and and just have peace of mind. You know, I was just attacked every day. You're so ungrateful. Listen. <laughs> Insane abuser are awful. I mean, what? My husband is awful. He used to be just scream. I don't know. I did that all the time, too. But I mean, I got it from all my insane abusers. They really treated me bad. Oh, why are you still talking about it? God, it went on for how many years? Over 40 years of my life is death. Because of all the insane abusers. God, I got beaten up for smoking pot and drinking beer. God, what the hell? 
Shit. It's fucked up. My life is so fucked up. My kids are getting a um, pot with a medical marijuana card. But I was beaten up for it. So, I'm persecuted to death. My, my life is crazy. You're like, that's crazy. That's really crazy. There's nothing wrong with 1990 God's Earth. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. I <laughs> mean, it's good for PTSD and mushrooms. So, but they have to be like, you know, I don't know. I, I, you have to grow your own. And then now everything's poisoned. Oh my god, 40 million truckers stop. That means the grocery stores. Nothing will be on the shelves. Holy shit. It's, it's going to be really, really bad. My god, I, I was going to throw out all my nutri bars because I never ate them. No, I'll, I'll keep them. Holy shit. And I had my applesauce. I'll keep that too. Holy shit. It's going to get really bad. It's going to get really bad. But I don't even, you know, like. I never had anything, but like now, and with late season Chappelle, one in a million ladies, 2010. That was it. One year. I had a half a normal, half as normal year. I wish she would have locked me up in her attic, but she didn't trust me in her house. I was like, what do you think I'm going to do? Kill myself? I, she probably thought it was going to burn the house down because I smoke cigarettes sometimes. But no, she. I, I was like, well, she was elderly, so she's 69, 70, so I could have snuck. That would be your paranoia of me lighting her house on fire. I would have loved her just to lock me up in, in her attic for a whole month. Then I wanna have to do that with uh Father My Two Children, what one one, two thousand ten. And Unspeakable and Dumb and Dumber. I wouldn't have to deal with that. I, I would have had a I, I could have got it together. And I'm where I'm at, you know I, Damn rapist from two thousand nineteen was outside like stalking me for a week, July fourth, and he did it again this year. He, you know, he just does it off and on. All these crazy guys. Like, get away from me. They are like, you pieces of shit. I don't even do, you know, like. God. But, oh, my weapon would be, you know, praising Jesus. Praise Jesus. He's a great, he's a great candidate to take praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Well, that would bore them away. You're crazy. I wouldn't speak in tongues, although I did do that one time, and it stopped me from being sexually harmed, but I don't believe in talking in tongues because it's jibber -jibber. I mean, yeah, I acted crazy. That, that's, that was cool. And I just got harmed way too much and just didn't care, and, you know, I just wanted to die more than... 1909, what happened? I wanted to die more in 2016 with what happened, just the unspeakable death, 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 constant death, death, death. Gang rape. A guy raped me outside. I had it by the And the prostitute killer said, Oh, you wanted it. Oh my God. That's what I had to do. Too many times. But I mean, I, you know, if there's a, if I get it wrong with a guy, like, it, for a week, I like, you can't, like, sex is nothing. It's the relationship you have. Like, so my, me, my husband couldn't get it up, so he couldn't have sex. And, like, Half the men I knew, like, they couldn't have sex. You know, it was just like, you know, they're, 
They're crazy because they, oh, uh, uh, you know, they, my, my ex-boyfriend, he actually, like, he could get it up. It's like, no, it's soft. You know, you probably did too many drugs. You give a shit. You're a dumb shit. Get away from me. Like, <laughs> we, we barely had sex. And he's like, do you remember how many times? Oh, my God, it's over 20 minutes. Do you remember how many? We must have done a lot of times. I only knew you for like four or five months, six months at the most, six months. Never saw you, barely. No, we probably had sex like twice. You, you don't remember too well, do you? Really far gone people, I know. They don't know anything. They don't remember anything that happened. You know, who cares?